Well, here's our little hay munching donkey family. And I got some very good news for them tonight. They're not really going to care or pay any attention because when we have our head in the hay bag, that's just about all that we can think about. But we found out tonight that next Tuesday, April 23rd, their new Bigger Better Barn is going to be delivered. When I say bigger, better, not necessarily bigger, taller than the one that's over here, but bigger, better than the little one that I have for them right now. Because originally we were going to get a donkey. And then we found out that you should get donkeys in pairs. So we said, okay, we'll get a pair of donkeys. Well, what kind of shelter do they need? Well, something just with three sides, nothing much. They'll be fine. And we had this old horse barn here on the property. So we said, well, they can use that temporarily while we get something for them and started looking for something for them. Found just the perfect thing. Got it ordered, got it delivered. All was great. And about that time is when we found out that Queenie was almost certainly carrying something a little extra. This would be our little extra right there. She's a lot extra now. And I thought, well, that little barn probably be okay. I mean, after all, it'll be their baby. They'll be fine. And then just a few months after that, before we got that one all ready, because I want to insulate it and make it just great for them, right after we moved them into this one, the first time it rained real heavy, they almost got flooded out. And Bill looked at me like he'd never been so disappointed in his life, and it broke my heart. And so I promised these guys a castle. And so I was working on making them a castle. And then we found out that this little guy, Mr. Whipper, was up for grabs. Now Whipper is Bill and Queenie's baby, but he stayed with his original family when Bill and Queenie came here because none of us knew at the time that Whipper wasn't really old enough to be away from his mom. He was just three months old and that probably wasn't the best thing in the world for him, but we're trying to work through a lot of that stuff now. But so we ended up with this guy. And I said, well, that little barn is not gonna be big enough for four donkeys. What if somebody's sick and has to be kept separate? What if somebody's not getting along? Like this is never going to work. So went back to the same company and ordered a matching barn, just like the little one that we have over there now. And of course their new one is practically right outside my back door. So that is going to be amazing, big time saver. So we ordered a second one, got it all paid for, waiting for it to come in, called to get a good idea of the delivery date, couldn't get a hold of anybody, and then found out that the company had gone out of business and the owners had run off in the middle of the night with quite a bit of money for quite a bit of barns. Now, if I hadn't already had one barn from them, <laughs> I probably wouldn't have paid them up front for the second one, but there you have it. So took a little bit to get my money back and then had to start looking to find another barn. And then before I found another barn, winter hit. And while I did have the clear plastic tarps that are up there because I didn't want all the heat to escape out the top, uh, I didn't have everything figured out for the winter. I thought they were gonna be just fine. And then the temperatures plummeted really far, really quick. They didn't have time to adapt and everybody was getting the shivers, which is not a good thing. And uh, Baby Willow is getting lethargic. We thought we were gonna lose her there for a little bit. So instead of going for another three-sided barn, uh, we opted to go for a four-sided barn, <laughs> so to speak, because in the time that it took us to get all of this ready for them in a day, we forgot to take care of our own house. We didn't leave the water running, so then we were without water at our house for three days because we wanted these guys to be warm. So their new barn will have four sides, but one side will have a whole bunch of doors in it so it can stay open most of the time and be like it's three-sided and then closed when it needs to be. You can see how excited they are about it. Clearly, they're just, they can barely contain themselves. But I'm pretty stoked about it. That's gonna take us a little while after it gets here, of course, to get it insulated and finished up and get the gates and the fences and everything uh, the way that we want them. And then I'm sure it'll be a continuous work in progress 
lots of phases down the road, uh, lots of plans in my head. We'll see how many of them we can get uh, out of my head and into reality. But anyway, it's a big step forward next Tuesday. Super excited.